What's up, folks? This is Crypto with James talking to you today about Grove Token. Now, um, I spotted this trending a little bit on Twitter, so I started taking a look at it. It's an interesting one, so I'm just literally going to review what what's the crack with it, as it were. Uh, before I do, I'll do the spreadsheet. These are the first 26 coins that I spoke about on the channel. Had you invested 100 bucks into each of them when I released the videos and you were still holding them all, you'd be in profit for around 12k. If, however, you had uh, cashed out the top of the markets in this last bull cycle, you'd have been in profit for 123 k um, We are now in a bear cycle, and bear cycles are unequivocally the best time to invest. That's true of the S&P 500, the NASDAQ, Dow Jones, Industrial Average, all of them, and particularly crypto, because crypto returns are better because it's a more immature market. Uh, so if you want to see the coins I'm buying up in this bear cycle right now, come check out Copy My Crypto. You can see the site and the success stories. Um, I share everything I'm doing on the site, and if you're brand new to crypto and you've not had the, you don't have the time or the energy or to to do your research, you can see exactly what I'm getting in on. Um, so yeah, check it out. Link is in the description. All right, Grove. So first of all, Grove is uh, got a market cap of around ninety three million. Volume's pretty good, twenty five million, and to be fair, across the last month certainly even just the last 24 days or so we've seen pretty good volume for something that's really not been around very long at all um so obviously grove has an insanely high circulating supply um but if we actually take a look at what grove is so grove is um for a healthier and wealthier future so their goal with grove is to help people make money simply put um so they're using green energy contributions they've got hydroponic farming um they've got renewable energy partnerships uh donations exchange listings and uh an elc 20 launch that happened they've recently just uh got a royal partnership this is worth noting uh so this is with the um united arab emirates so if we just take a look uh Dear Mr. John, we, uh, the private office of HH Sheikh uh, Bouti Al Maktoum, are glad to announce an official partnership with Grove Token Dubai LLC. We look forward to collaborating and developing affordable and sustainable farming through aeroponic and hydroponic practices. At the conclusion of successful meetings between the private office and uh, yourself, we believe Grove Token has the capacity to help us facilitate the evolution of Grove Token within Dubai. As such, we would like to develop this partnership further through additional business opportunities. All further details regarding the new initiatives will be forthcoming. We look forward to this partnership. It's a big deal. It's a, it's a big partnership to land. You can't knock that at all. Um, so that's a really good start because we know fundamentally as well that we're going to see a lot of growth in terms of crypto in um, the Arab Emirates. So how it works is passive income. So there's taxation, it's 10% tax, 10% buy tax, 10% sell tax. Um, some of that is redistributed with passive income. Um, some of that is added to liquidity. Some of that is auto burn. Some of that goes to marketing. Um, and to be fair, you know, They've not done badly, being up and running for about a month and a half, two months. Uh, they've got about 15,000 uh, token holders now. And obviously it's had a pretty damn good run. Effectively done, uh, you know, a 10x in a pretty short space of time. Now uh, it's retraced a fair bit. Um, so there's a few things coming up that intrigue me. This is not like one I've bought. It's not one I'm promoting or anything. It's just one that I want to take a look at. But the CEO is exceptionally active on Twitter. Um, as you can see, you know, he's he's spoken about um, having higher burn and uh, higher and burn liquidity. There are many pools uh, created by others that have very low liquidity and we don't recommend trading on them. So he's highlighting uh 
he was pointing out that please make sure to only use the highlighted options on our website to invest in Grove. Uh, thanks to everyone that voted. Max sell amount is now being adjusted to 10 trillion every six hours. And that's their effectively anti whale dump feature. He's also spoken about the fact that uh, there's a crypto summit that happens um, in a few days and he will be meeting with multiple top tier exchanges to finalize um, already started discussions for listing. So he's looking at trying to get this on some major, major ex exchanges. You can see that he's hashtagged Binance in there. Um, and he's pointed out, yeah, he's going to fly to Istanbul to attend the uh, Crypto Expo um, with the aim to connect with everyone there, especially the top tier exchanges. Um, <clears throat> now, Binance would be a hell of a coup. Uh, they're not quite there yet in terms of who they're partnered with. You've got Bitmart, XT.com. L Bank and Hotbit. <clears throat> um, so looking at effectively re um, doing farming in a new way, uh, they're obviously paying pretty good yield. You know the farm for uh, the growth token and BNB is paying four hundred eighty six percent. They said that they have over twenty thousand holders on July twenty third, which was just yesterday. Now I will point out I went on to be a uh check to check out the contract the contract is saying risky um they're saying that there's fifteen thousand fifteen and a half thousand holders um not the twenty thousand that they're stating although this is not this is sometimes lagging in terms of information I will point that out um they've got buy tax and sell tax of ten percent uh the owner has uh, not renounced ownership, so um, does have a balance of 0.02% of the overall um, supply. Um, there's also a potential issue with regards to liquidity. Um, they're pointing out that only 23.25% has been burned or locked. It should be over 95%. And top holders hold a hell of a lot of the tokens there's one address that holds 10.1 percent one 5.66 percent now i've not deep dived into them to check if they're supplying liquidity or what um but obviously these are potential red flags it's worth bearing this in mind um because you don't want to get rugged possibly I'm not saying that this is, by the way, I'm just saying. Um, <clears throat> so, as you can see, uh, the top token holder. Is this the top token holder? Let's just go back. Contract owner. So the contract owner is doing a lot. Um, so he's moving around stuff, but it's excluded from fees, excluded from dividends, excluded from max uh, wallet limit excluded from sell cooldown so there's a few different things happening here but he is adding liquidity on a regular basis as well um so hmm, interesting one something to be aware of something to potentially be careful of i'm not actually i don't see how this is going to be a rug when you've got um green light with a government you know it seems unlikely but always worth bearing in mind and so their invest if you click on their, their dashboard you can see basically what they've got set up so they've got a reward section um they've got a farm they've got a pool although you know you have to connect your wallets to see all of that and that's on binance and ethereum <clears throat> um interesting one one thing i'd say i'm not sure it's one i would invest in but they've done a lot in a very short space of time getting that many holders is pretty damn good they're really uh involved in the community in terms of all these votes on twitter um it's definitely been trending on uh coin market cap um and they're pushing you know sustainability and a new uh method for farming now, I can respect all of that, I think. And this is qu quite an intriguing one. Um, 
I would be remain pretty cautious in terms of um, in terms of investing. Let's have a look at Grove Token on BSC. Twenty thousand, yeah. So there are twenty thousand addresses. So that does mean BS check seems to be a little lagged, um, and you can see that there's constant transactions. There's a lot happening. Um, so this, and that's just on ETH. These are saying swap ETH for tokens. Although this is BSE scan, so who knows on that one? But really intriguing one. If and I, what I like, what I do like about this, I think the CEO is really engaged with this project. He is talking about it constantly. He's engaging on Twitter with the community constantly. That's a good thing. A partnership with the government, strong. If they get listed on a major exchange like Binance, this probably will go through the roof. Um, it's one I'm going to be tentative on, but you know they've done a lot in a short space of time, so it's quite an intriguing one. Uh, so if you are a Grove holder, what do you think about it? You know, if you got in at the beginning of June, obviously you've done very, 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 very well. Um, what do you think the the possibilities are for Grove. Do you think Grove can run and double from where it is? What do you think would happen if it lands on Binance? Let me know in the comments down below. Uh, and that's it. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell notification so you know when new content's coming out. And if you want to see the coins I'm buying up in the bear cycle, the ones that I think are going to do those huge gains, whether it's 20x, 40x, 50x, 100x, like I said with Phantom, which did way, way, way more than that, then all you've got to do is come to my site, see the stories, see the success stories. And if you like them, join us. And if you don't, keep watching the channel and keep talking and engaging. And that's it from me, guys. Take it easy. Bye-bye.